Island has a rich history, including many notable landmarks. Of course, but Rhode, a Rhode Island man is looking to capture part of our past that's outside the norm. WBC's Kate Merrill takes a look into one man's mission to focus on the forgotten from above. A massive movie screen at a drive in theater, a frightening face that once terrified teens, even an entire neighborhood overgrown and deserted. This is abandoned New England, and filmmaker and explorer Jason Allard is working to document it one leftover lot at a time. I've always had a fascination with abandoned places. You always wonder why they're there, how they get into that state. Jason has created a web series called Abandoned from Above. The 29 year old uses a drone camera to capture history from a heavenly view. It really shows the scope of some of these places. Once you like see it from the air, you can see just how large they are. And then you go in on the ground, you get a more intimate look at what they're like. Jason says he was intrigued after learning about Chernobyl, the site of a nuclear accident in Ukraine. From then, I started exploring more local abandoned places because I was kind of fascinated with what happens once people just up and leave these places. He's learned a lot from visiting these forsaken spots and is eager to pass on that knowledge to his online audience. Anytime I visit a place where people made a lot of significant memories with their families or even just growing up, whether it's a school, amusement park, drive-in theater, those are always the most interesting to me. We were able to tag along on his latest adventure. We're at the uh, abandoned Clinton train tunnel right now in Clinton, Massachusetts. The train tunnel buried in the woods once came out to a bridge that traveled over the Wachusett Dam. It was built in the early 20th century, but less than six decades later, it would never be used again. It's definitely a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. When you look, it goes on. It seems to go on forever. It doesn't seem like we're getting any closer to the end right now either. How long is this again? I mean, this is about a quarter mile long. It's definitely spooky. It's definitely sort of an eerie feeling. You feel kind of claustrophobic in here, right? I know. I don't want to go in like, the middle of it. The, the farther in you go, I don't even know what's in there. Just like a cave at this point. Wow, this is this the is cool crazy. part. You find out it's more interesting than you even thought with the deeper you get yeah, into you it. Yeah, you always find more. And while we discovered plenty, we were both happy to not run into anything supernatural. Rumor has it the tunnel is haunted, something not uncommon in Jason's explorations. There was a massive reaper skull that was constructed and it was on the side of one of the buildings. So it's startling when I found it. One of the spookiest places that I went to was an abandoned summer resort in Connecticut. We walked into some of the guest rooms and the beds were still made, the curtains were still on. Everything was still set up as if people were going to come back someday. Whether checking out the spooky or the spectacular, Jason relishes his chance to investigate each one, seeing each trip as a chance to visit the past and see how it now overlaps with the future. In a way, they are time capsules. When you go to explore them, you see them as they are stuck in time. If you want to check out Jason's series, Abandoned from Above, just search his name, Jason Allard, on YouTube or go to our website, cbsboston.com. And if you want to check out some of those places, make sure they're not on private property and always get permission first. Kate Merrill, WBZ News.